Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Wind Down Live. I am getting Instagram on with us here in a second. If you're new here, my name is Shayla Vernado. I am the founder of Black Girls Wine and the host here on this weekly show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have each of you. So if you're wondering, okay, what is this show? Who is this girl? What's going on? Okay, Wine Down Live is a weekly show that I host here and me and the wine friends meet here every single week and I review a wine for you all. Something new, something that will expand your palate. We do a little bit of everything here so you never have to wonder what to pick up from the grocery store again, okay? So I want you to say hello in the comments and if you're just logging on I want you to go ahead and share the video to qualify for the giveaway and I'm giving you a heads up because all of our regulars they've already shared hey everyone hey hey Beatrice hey Amari hey Chanel hey Leticia hey dad um let me see who else is on hi Miss Mimi hi I'm Pandora how are you all doing today I am super excited Tonight's wine is something special. And you know why, y'all? Because tonight's wine is actually made by a black woman. Ah! I'm so so excited. And I don't mean made like, oh, she has a wine, she has a, a wine label. Hey Allie. Um, hey Tisha, hey Lania. Um, hey Gail. Look, y'all new hair and it's like everywhere <laughs> hi Trine. listen tonight's wine is made by a black woman she is the wine the vineyard manager over at Louis Martini okay and I am so excited and I mean so excited I want you guys to drop a wine glass if you can hear me and if you've already shared the video go ahead and put a little music on for us in the background Get my notes up. All right. So I'm going to jump into this first giveaway question because I want to see how many of you already know who she is. Thank you, Amari. Hey, Lori. <laughs> I love y'all. Okay, so y'all can hear me. Perfect, perfect. All right. A dro drop a wine glass if you uh, went ahead and shared the video because I'm getting ready to do this giveaway. So if you're new here, in order to win the giveaways, you have to share the video and then I'm going to ask you a question, okay? And the question, you have to be the first one to type it and get the answer right, okay? So it can be a little tricky. Listen, I, I struggle in the realm of like trying to get my fingers to work fast enough. So kudos to everybody who can do it because <laughs> listen, the wine family, they're here every single week and some of them are good, y'all. When I say good... Yes, they have a black wine maker. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mimi. Hey, Dad. My brother's watching. Mom is watching. Uh, okay, so you guys will share the video. Are you ready? All right, so your first question, because before I talk about uh, this amazing wine that she makes, I'm so excited. And, and y'all, this woman, I'm just going to go ahead and just dive into it, right? So this woman... She is like a farmer, okay? Um, and she, when I tell you, has just, she has such a great energy. I had the pleasure of meeting her in Napa. And this black woman sprinkles her black girl magic all over Louis Martini, okay? Um, she is the vineyard manager. And so I couldn't wait to try this wine. Hi, Repor! Um, I could not wait to try this wine. Okay, so your first giveaway question of the night is, can you tell me who the vineyard manager is at Louis Martini? I have so much. She sent me notes for this wine. We're going to get into it, y'all. Get into it. Oh, we have winners. We have winners. Okay, so I'm Pandora and Beatrice are our winners. The vineyard uh, manager at Louis Martini is Miss Brene Royal, and she is a sister. So that is super exciting. I couldn't wait to try this wine. When I say couldn't wait, I could not wait. Okay. 
<laughs> Y'all, this, I picked up the 2016 Cabernet. If you won tonight, um, the first giveaway, we'll have a few more. Don't worry. You still have a chance to win. But if you won tonight, just make sure you shoot me a DM after the show so you can claim your prize, okay? So I'm excited to try this. When I say, y'all, I just can't express how excited I am. So this is a Cabernet. Um, it's a 2016. Here's the bottle. I picked this up here in Richmond from, um, oh, Lord, what was that earlier? Libby Market, okay? Beatrice is an overachiever. <laughs> I picked it up from Libby Market. And I want to tell you a little bit about tonight's wine because she gave me such good notes. So, Monte Rosso is one of the oldest vineyards. That's the, the vineyard, okay? Um, it's one of the oldest vineyards in the state of California at 133 years old, okay? Um, and they still farm vines that are between the ages of 79 and 133 years. That's amazing. Like, amazing. Okay? So, the wine that I'm having is the 2016 that was sourced from five vineyard blocks. And... It's ranging in age from 11 to 79 year old vines. So I'm having a wine that some of the grapes, the vines are up to 79 years old. How awesome is that? Like I am literally drinking history and the fact that a black woman is overseeing this process and making this wine kind of makes it that much more magical, you know? Like I am super excited. Um, okay, so it's aged for 28 months. So just over two years. And um, they make about a 700, they make about 700 cases of this wine. All right. Um, the vineyard is planted in a volcanic soil and that, which is that signature spice, terrier and um, acidity that I'm going to taste in this wine. Um, the ageability is great. Uh, Brene told me personally that this is one of her favorites. And she said that she likes to drink it six years post vintage. So I am going to be grabbing a few bottles of this to age for six years to have with the society in six years. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to keep it in the black girls wine cellar, not my cellar, the black girls wine cellar. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that tonight. Cause that's the big announcement. All right, let's dig in. You, Hey folks, family, what y'all drinking tonight? Share with me what you are drinking tonight. Oh, mm. wine opener down, wine opener down. This one that I am drinking is, uh, I want to say it was 40. Between 40 and 45. Hi, Athena. Um, so this cab is between 40 and 45, I believe. Listen, to my knowledge, okay? All right, so tell me what you all are drinking. I'm super excited. I'm definitely going to go back and get a couple of bottles to age for the BGW seller. And while I'm opening and you guys are sharing with me what you're drinking, looks like Trinae's drinking Dark Horse Rosé. Oh, how are we liking it so far? Daph's having the Sterling Vineyards Napa Cab Sav. Yum. I tried the buttercream. Really nice. Loved it. Uh-oh. Mimi said she tried the buttercream and she liked it. I'm telling y'all, y'all can trust me. I've been telling y'all the truth. That was a decent Chardonnay. Uh, Max, hey, bestie. Wine Bay, slaying a snatcher. Hello, hello. Yes, thank y'all. <laughs> um, hey, Alicia. So what is happening with the Black Rose Wine Cellar? You're probably wondering. Well, I have decided that I'm going to store some of my wines in the BGW cellar to share with society members. And I'm gonna start collecting, okay, for the Black Girls Wine Cellar. And society members will be invited to a cellar tasting, all right, a cellar tasting twice a year. And we're also gonna pull, um, when we have major events, I'll be pulling from the BGW cellar for the society members only. All right, I had to share that with you guys because see the anniversary event is coming up in September. Okay, we're finalizing location this week and tickets will go up. Let me tell y'all, I'm pulling some stuff out the cellar for the event in September to celebrate the anniversary and the society members will be the only ones who get to sip. So I'm just giving you a heads up because it's going to be some real black girl magic. Hint, 
hint. Okay? <laughs> all right. Let's get into tonight's wine. I want to hear from you all. Thank you, Max. Let's see. Trené said her rosé is smooth, not too dry, and not too sweet. Just right. Okay. You're a Malbec girl. I like a good Malbec. Tisha is drinking Baco Noir from Konzelman, which is a winery in Niagara. That's awesome. Um, rosé from Aldi. Oh, how is it? Is that the rosé that just won and got like, it, it, it got like 100, not 100, maybe not 100 points, but it scored really high. Like it was supposed to be really, really good. Is that that one? I'm having Shadow Chaser 2012 Ganache. Ooh. Hi, Cherie. She's new here. She loves wine and she's a black girl. Hey, girl. Welcome. You guys, welcome, Cherie. Welcome her. It is so good to have you, Cherie. Thank you for joining us and hanging out. All right. So, Dap. Okay. So, Dap, that's what I read this weekend. That this Aldi Rosé apparently won in a blind tasting recently. So, I'm going to go by and pick it up so we can review it, y'all because it's a province rosé. Okay, I'm gonna have to go pick that up. Hi to Boss Lady 05. Hi, Anita. Because, listen, listen. I, I couldn't believe that this Aldi rosé, and apparently it like won next to some pretty big wines. Like, and I was like, okay, Aldi, I see you. I see you. That's a big deal. All righty, Max, I'm sipping a Matola. Oh, I love Shiraz. It's an Australian Shiraz too. Um, by McLaurin Vale, from McLaurin Vale. Awesome. Okay. So tonight I'm sipping out of my prettiest pour glass, which I'm so excited about. I like that it's pink. I like that it has the gold rim. Isn't it gorgeous? I love, love, love. You can get this online at theprettiestpour.com. Okay. Is that the blue label bottle from Aldi? Uh, I don't know if it's a blue label. It's a prov it's the province rosé. Hello, AD. Yes, yes, welcome. I'm so happy you you are uh, enjoying it. Hey, IG, make sure you say hi to AD. Isn't this a cute glass? I was excited. So I, for, I, I had to forego the BGW glass tonight, but it is sitting here in honor of, you know, our weekly meetup. <laughs> so, oh, the McBride Sisters um, red blend is quite tasty. I am so excited about this wine. And this is probably one of those that, like, I really needed a Coravin for so that I didn't have to, like, open it completely. But it's okay. I'll finish this bottle and um, <laughs> just buy another one for later. Okay. I'm so excited, y'all. Ooh. Oh, God. It smells beautiful. It smells so beautiful. Oh, I do. I'm getting the smoky. I'm getting kind of that. I just went to Aldi and saw it, but didn't purchase it. I'll go back. How does it taste? You know what? And I'm going to review it. I'm going to review it for us. Do you meet in Washington, D.C.? We actually have a society chapter launching next month in Washington, D.C. And we also have a Baltimore and Northern Virginia. Okay. So the Baltimore, um, the Baltimore chapter and the chapter in Northern Virginia you have access to all of their events and activities too. So when you join one chapter of the society, you join the entire society. So nothing is off limits to you when you're there. Okay? That's how I do. Is there a power watch party in the works? It's coming back on soon. Okay, so if you're new here, I have to tell you that there is a secret, not so secret group on Facebook that I, I mean, I call it all the time. Um, Tisha, I do think that this has a very rich look. And <laughs> Alicia says she ordered the set. Yes. I mean, I just think it's so pretty. Oh, it's just, uh, this wine smells amazing, y'all. I'm so excited. But so if you're new here, we have um, a super secret, not so secret group on Facebook. You can join us. It's called the Black Girls Wine Sisterhood. And we have watch parties together, which is a lot of fun. Me and the girls, we will put on a movie. We'll watch shows together. And when I tell y'all it is like hanging out with your girls, um, it, it's, it's a blast. We have so much fun. Um, I'm sorry, guys. You're not allowed. Sometimes we have some real uh, from left conversations. So, <laughs> um, power, I doubt it though. <laughs> Only because my husband and I watch power together. 
that's our show. So I can't, I can't show cheat on Bay. <laughs> but uh, we need a smell of vision. Yes, y'all do, because it smells so good. Okay, let's get into tasting it. Oh, I'm getting that smoky kind of flavor. Let me see, hold on. I'm getting that smoky smell. Um, the volcanic. I do, I kind of feel like I smell that, that aspect of it. All right. I'm gonna taste it. I'm so excited. You know how you get ready to taste a wine and you feel like, <laughs> look, I know y'all were like waiting, like what, why is she pulling this glass away? We wait for her to try it. But listen, you know how you get ready to taste something and you're like, oh my God, like you just get so excited because you know it's gonna be good. That's how I feel about this wine. <laughs> All right, here I go, here I go. Mm. That is good. It's a 10. It's a 10. Now, interestingly enough, I'm getting the spice. I'm getting the terrier. It's an earthy red. Um, and you know what? I What I really, really like about it is that it's still giving me just a... It, it, it still is a little fruity on the, on the palate. Like, it's still a... It's a bold... Oh God, it's good. It's so good. It's fruity on the palate. Um, it's not for you if you drink sweet wine though. So let me just, let me just tear war. Tear, tear. I can't even pronounce whatever that is. You just wrote dab. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you guys, so some of our resident wine experts, they log on to the show with me every week. My brother Dab is one of them. My bestie Max is one of them. And they log on and they always log on and like, help us out you know with the wine terms and stuff <laughs> so he was writing out a wine term and i'm like terroir i don't i don't, I don't know what terroir is Deb, can we get a definition can we get a definition all righty listen y'all i am loving this let's talk about what i would pair this with hi jamina mm. this is good Y'all, it's just the land that the wine comes from. Oh, okay. So we learn. Oh, okay. Terroir means place, the place. And terroir is the land where the wine comes from. So the terroir of this wine, it has volcanic soil. So you kind of get a very spicy, earthy um, kind of flavor on the, on the, on the palate. Um, oh, I was ready to type it. Okay, so the soil, the environment, and the elevation. That is the terroir. We learned something new tonight, y'all. Um, I'm giving this a 10, and I think that honestly, so I've given up meat, guys. Terriers, all, ter all the things about the environment where the wine is grown. Okay, Tony, come through. Uh, for those of you who are in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, Tony is actually our ambassador in Cincinnati, and she has her event coming up. Y'all need to be there. She, so, y'all see, she know her stuff. Be there or be square. <laughs> okay, listen. So I gave up meat, right? So I'm only eating seafood. <laughs> I know y'all kind of like, okay, Shayla. But if I was pairing this with something, Honestly, I would have a really good steak with it. I think a pork chop would be good with it. And I'm not a pork person at all. I've never really eaten pork chops. But I do cook them for my husband. So sometimes, you know how you just, I just stick my finger on top and taste it to make sure my flavor's right. <laughs> Don't tell him. Um, so, <laughs> I think that a pork chop would be really good with this. And for those of you who gave a meat like I did, honestly, I'm going to have this with grilled zucchini. Like a zucchini flank. So I would chop this in half and chop a zucchini in half and put it flat on the grill and really get that grilled portobello mushroom. Tisha said portobello mushroom. I don't eat mushrooms. But that that's a good that's a good replacement for meat. <laughs> Tisha said, welcome to the no meat zone. Listen. Um, but I do like zucchini and I think a grilled zucchini would really kind of do pair really well with this. Um, so that is what I would be having with it, okay? Um, I'm 31 days, no beef or poultry. It's been interesting to learn pairings with wines. Yes! So from now on, you guys are going to get a lot of 
variety when it comes to pairings for the wines from me because I don't, I'm not eating meat. So we're going to have lots of options around here, okay? <laughs> Which is exciting. Um, so if you are new here and you haven't ever heard about the Black Girls Wine Society, let me tell you, it's a national organization. Um, we are accepting members. We are launching some new chapters on Friday right now. And I'm going to work my way down the coast because that helps me not forget. We are currently in New York, New Jersey, uh, Maryland, Baltimore, uh, Virginia, Richmond, Ohio, Cincinnati, um, <laughs> Raleigh, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, New Orleans, Louisiana, and Dallas, Texas. Um, I am going to be announcing some new chapters on Friday. We've got some ambassadors in the works. Thank you, Max. Um, so I'm excited. Um, so some of the chapters that are coming on Friday, I can give you guys a sneak peek. Y'all want a sneak peek? Because Tisha and slid y'all, uh, um, slid y'all a, a little a little sneak so now i gotta tell you right so whitbridge virginia is being added if you're in the northern virginia area you will have the opportunity to sip with your sisters in the area and um let me see where else are we adding uh los angeles Woo! y'all don't know how happy i am about los angeles the los angeles chapter launching y'all just don't understand okay so you guys are getting the real like tea because i'm not announcing this anywhere else until friday so wine friends y'all can't say i don't give it to y'all first but yes la is launching on friday which i'm super excited about because the ladies have been on me about la dc is launching okay dc um sheree upstate new york you know what sheree i've had a few uh, people apply for upstate New York. They have not uh, gone through with it though. So if you know somebody who's interested in hosting a chapter, let you know. Tell them, send them our way. Tell them to apply. We would love, love, love to have them. Um, so I'm super excited. I'll be popping up at events across the country, so you'll get a chance to meet me. Uh, but my ambassadors are so, so, so amazing. You all are going to love them. When I say love. You guys are going to love these ladies. They are on it. When I tell you, they know their stuff. And they are dynamic black women who are amazing. Like, you just want to connect with them. Like, I'm ha I'm honored to know them. Um, these ambassadors are so on it. And the events that they have coming up, I'm telling y'all right now, we're going to eventually close membership to only being able to sign up once a month. And you'll only be able to come to one event a quarter if you're not a member. So, if you want to miss out on all the fun stuff we're doing, then you can just wait and see what's available. But, all I'm saying is, go ahead and get on it, okay? All the information is on BlackGirlsWine.com. Thank you for joining and watching. Dab said, just make sure Shayla Park's in the right spot. Listen, y'all, the, these parking spots in D.C. are not to be played with, okay? Let me just go ahead and announce that you're going to have to move your car 50 times. Like, it's, it's just a lot. I don't know how y'all deal with it. It's a lot. <laughs> all righty. So, I'm rating this wine a 10. And honestly, you all know that I like to give, like, an official name for my wines. Um, I think this is a good girlfriend's wine. It really is. Now, it's not going to be for your girlfriends who are new to the party. You know, they just started drinking. Um, they just started drinking, like... Moscato or a sweet red you might want to have a sweet red for them at the girlfriend at the girls night at your house available but this is for all of the girls whose palettes have evolved a little bit more and they're gonna love this this is definitely oh Brene shout out to you you are doing something magical out there on those vines girl and it is listen on behalf of Louis Martini in case they have not told you thank you thank you this is amazing, okay? Mm. Hi, Tanae. This glass, again, is... You guys gotta um, pick this up. It's from The Prettiest Poor. It's so gorgeous. I feel like such a... You know the old Hollywood, like, just, just sexy, and what's the finish? It's giving me spicy on the tongue. The finish is very... It's, it's a... It's kind of a long finish. I feel it. I still not feel it. 
I still taste it. Look, y'all, this hair is like all in my face. I'm gonna have my curls back next week. Um, <laughs> um, it's got kind of a long finish. I feel like I still taste it on the palette, but I really, really liked it. I have talk pairings. Miss D. Miss D wants to know what we're pairing this with. I am pairing this with pork chops. I'm pairing it with steak. But I really, as somebody who's giving up meat, I'm pairing this with grilled zucchini. I mean, I'm letting my zucchini char on one side and then char on the other. And then I'm probably, you know, will be really good. I like making my own dressings. Do you guys like making your own dressings? I like experimenting in the kitchen. My husband will tell you. He'll be like, okay, I didn't like that, but I did like this. Um, <laughs> so thank you, Therese. Um, I I would make my own dressing um, to, to pair with the zucchini just to kind of laven it up because y'all know zucchini don't have no taste. Don't. Listen, I'm not one of those people that gave up meat and I'm going to lie to you about what stuff tastes like, okay? Zucchini does not have any flavor. <laughs> so I would make like my own kind of like ranch based kind of flavor dressing what fish would i pair this with i wouldn't think to pair this with a fish but if i had to pair it with something um it would probably be like a catfish if i had to pair it with a fish a catfish maybe a halibut definitely and i'm thinking like a fried cat, catfish, cornmeal, something a little bit heavier. Because this is a heavy red, so you don't want to pair this with something super light like tilapia if you eat it or, you know. So I'm, I'm thinking like of something a little bit heavier when it comes to fish. And halibut is always heavy to me, so possibly a halibut. I love grilled zucchini with Montreal steak seasoning and chimichurri. That's exactly what I had in mind. I like a good chimichurri sauce. I would put chimichurri. Cajun scallops. Ooh, Chanel. Girl, you just blessed me. Cajun scallops would be good. I don't want y'all to think I'm naked. I have on shorts to go with my uh, shirt. I just happened to look up at the screen, y'all, and I'm like, oh, it looks like I don't have any pants on. <laughs> um, snapper. You could do snapper. I'm not a snapper girl, but you could do snapper. So I'm going to tell y'all something. Secret about me. When I say seafood, I really mean like shrimp and crab and the occasional fried fish. <laughs> I could not get into like baking fish. It, it just, it like the baked fish doesn't do it for me. And if I eat it baked, somebody else has to cook it, not me. Because I won't eat it if I cook it. I don't know why. It's just, I think I just don't like the smell of it in my house. By the time it's finished cooking, it's ruined my appetite. I think. <laughs> I season my zucchini and squash with tahini. You know what? That's a good idea. I need to find me a chimichurri sauce. So, a recipe, I mean. I like this glass. You know another reason why I like this glass? So, let's talk about it, right? Um, it was going around online about how Olivia Pope um, used to always hold her wine glasses like this, right? Which, I mean, it, honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. Proper etiquette is to hold it by the stem, or you can hold it simply by the base of the glass. Now, I like this glass because, this, first of all, they feel extremely sturdy. The prettiest pour did a phenomenal job. Um, with these glasses. It's super, super sturdy. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. Um, you can hold your glass this way. You can hold it this way. And even though they say not to hold it this way, proper etiquette, you know, when you're out and you're at a restaurant or something, you want to hold it at the stem or at the base. Um, but this is one of those glasses that just makes you want to hold it like, it's so, like, you know, it's just sexy. It's just that Oh, it gives you that Olivia Pope kind of like. And she always looked good on her glass. I don't care if it was the wrong way or not. Okay. Olivia Pope had it. She looked good. Mm. Holding it this way is also an option. Because if you if your wine is too chilled because I've been in restaurants and they serve me a red that's like too cold and I'm like why did you put this in my glass okay so in that case then you might want to hold it this way does that make stimulus glasses a problem no it doesn't make them a problem I like stimulus glasses I think they're cute and they're comfy they're perfect for a night in the house um and you know if you're drinking in the house with your girlfriends you don't want to have to worry about breaking the stem after a few glasses so I don't see anything wrong with a stimulus glass but I will tell you um typically you'll get like you know these kind of glasses at restaurants anyway so there's nothing wrong with stimulus glasses and you just have to um Olivia, yes, for being here for all things Olivia. I love Olivia Pope. She was like life goals, okay? Like, 
She ran her own company. She knew all the wines. She was so well educated. And despite her, um, you know, treacherous love life, <laughs> we love who she was. As a woman, she was holding it down. I went out last night and they gave me a baby stimulus glass and I hated it. Yeah, I don't really, I don't know that I don't always like stimulus glasses at restaurants because if I order like a rose, I don't want to warm up my rose with my body heat holding the cup. You know, I want my glass to be, thank you, Angela. I don't want my body heat because what happens is, and part of the reason why this is not, you know, proper etiquette is because you're going to warm up the glass. I don't know about y'all unless, you know, your hands are just naturally cold and you don't have no body heat, which is weird. You probably need to go to the doctor. Um, <laughs> I feel like I, I this is, this is going to heat up your, your wine too fast. It's going to heat mine up. So. Alrighty, so Cherie has Cherie has something to say. Okay, Cherie said, "Can I just say something? As a woman with a mature palate, does anyone else get offended when a waiter of a certain persuasion assumes you want Moscato?" Cherie, it is not just you. Um, definitely get offended. That just happened to me recently. Um, Thena says she's think drinking from a stimulus glass now. Thena, it's not wrong with that girl. I'm telling you. I first of all, y'all know every single week I log on. With my Black Rose Wine Stimulus Wine Glass. I love these glasses. And usually when I'm just tasting with y'all, you guys know that I have an issue with like drinking my wine too warm. So I always chill it. And then by the time I get to you guys, it's too cold. So I usually pour it in my stimulus glass. So if you're new here, it's okay. Y'all know I drink out of this every week. And by the way, they are available online. This is the Govino Unbreakable Glass. It's unbreakable, okay? It's kid-proof, husband-proof, dishwasher safe. All that jazz. Maybe not dishwasher say. Dishwasher proof. I've broken glasses in the dishwasher is what I meant to say. <laughs> so, um, has anybody else broken glasses in the dishwasher or no? No? <laughs> but no, Cherie, we completely understand that is often the assumption with African American wine drinkers. And that is part of the reason why this platform exists. So that when people in the wine industry reach out to me and they're like, hey, we want to send you some wine. I'm like, good. Send me your driest red. Don't send me Moscato. Okay, <laughs> but that's part of opening up this conversation and kind of changing the narrative about black wine drinkers that we do drink more stuff than just sweet wines. Um, and it did just recently happen to me like last week, like last, last week. I mean it like the guy was like, oh, you know, um, I'm sorry, it wasn't a guy. I was a young lady. I was at a winery and she said to me, I was asking what their flight options were. Right. So they had these really, really cool flights. And, um, she was like, oh, she was like, did you want the sweet flight? And I'm like, no, I asked you what your options were because there was nothing on that sweet flight, but Moscato and other sweet stuff. And I was like, uh, no, um, Hey Max, I find a Moscato that I really like. Are there any that aren't that sweet? Moscato is traditionally a sweet varietal. You can get something maybe not as sweet as others, but, um, Typically, it is a sweeter, it's a sweet varietal. Um, that is why, but this is also why we have the Black Girls Wine Society. Because, it's, let me tell y'all something. One thing about the society is people are already asking about it. People who are not African American are already emailing me, checking in with me, seeing how the society is going and how they can get involved and how they can help support the black women who are becoming a part of this movement. And I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to share our story um, collectively and in a whole different light and share that because we do drink more than just sweet wine. So we totally understand you, Cherie, here. You are home here. Welcome. This is your wine family. Uh, blame Drake for the Moscato comment. Facts. Facts. <laughs> we blame him um so yeah all right we're gonna get into this last giveaway if you're watching and you want a chance to win make sure you hit that share button i'm gonna give y'all a chance to share i'm gonna give you a chance to share go ahead if you're on instagram you just need to hit this little arrow right here where my finger is pointing the little paper plane and send this off to some of your friends and if you are on Facebook, you're going to hop out real quick, hit that share button, and then come right back so that you have a chance to win this giveaway for this last question. Um, oh, excuse me. And if you're new here, wine always makes me burp. Just don't be alarmed. I can't tell you what it is. It's just me. It happens all the time. All righty. I'm going to switch my song while y'all share the video because Jamie Foxx is not quite doing it for me, okay? 
Just saying. I could use a little of my girl. Let's see if I can get to it. Uh, I was trying to find Sierra. Y'all know I love her. Love, love, love. We're going to get a little level up going. All the Moscato I've had taste the same to me. I get, you know, teach Tanya. I feel the same way. But, all right, drop a wine glass if you've shared the video. So I can get into this last question. While we jam. Thank you, Thena. Okay, so to tell you guys a little bit about the highlight that I'm wearing, because Thena commented on the highlight. This is a drugstore special. It is wet and wild. It's the pink rosy color one. They have three different colors. This is the pink rosy color. I love, love, listen y'all, and it's, and it's cheap. I have the expensive highlighters. I have the $30 ones. I have the, you know, the $50 ones. This one is my go-to. This is what I'm gonna read by time and time again. And if I forget to do eyeshadow sometimes, which I didn't today, but if I forget to do eyeshadow sometimes, I will put a little over my eye. Perfect, perfect, simple. Pulls the look together immediately. Thank you, Tequila Sunrise. All right. Y'all ready? I'm going to give y'all a word today. What does my bracelet say? My bracelet says Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Uh, my bra I am an AKA. I crossed at Old Dominion University. My line name was Southern Bell. Believe it or not. Um, I can never find Wet n Wild Walgreens around here. Try um, the other one. The one that I never go in. That's actually where I got this from. And I haven't been back in there since. I never go in the drugstore. It makes me feel dirty. Um, but it's the one that begins with an R, I think. Right aid. Right aid. Hi, Karen. Hey, Soror. Hey, Cherie. Hey, y'all. So, actually, a Soror gave this to me. Max said that fits me. <laughs> Thank you. Um... A soror gave this to me. They're having an event here next weekend. And I think I'm going to go hang out with my sorors. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, so that's all it says. I have been living in it since she gave it to me. I'm like, I really like this bracelet. Like, this is so cute. Skiwi, my soror. Hey, Donna. All right. All right, move. Oh, Okay. Y'all, the hair was on my leg, and I thought it was something only, and I was about to scream. <laughs> Hi, Sora Anita. Plays at USC. Locomotion. I like that. Karen came through at Spellman Spring 88. Yes. That's awesome. Ah, thank you, D. Thank you, thank you, girl. Listen, I was ready for something new. I want y'all to know. I haven't named her yet, and if you're also new here, I have started. I'm new to this wig life because I'm a natural girl. I chopped off all my locks last year. And so I'm on my natural hair journey again, because this is like my second go around. I've had all kinds of hair in my lifetime. Um, but I miss my natural curls, so I cut, cut off all my hair. And I'm new to this wig life, and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I haven't named her yet, though. I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking about just calling her Farrah, right? Because who doesn't love a good Farrah Fawcett hairdo? That's what made me buy this one. So, all about that wig life. This is Farrah. Hello. She'll be back. <laughs> all right. Let's get into this last question. You know what? I got a trick question for y'all because this is it's about the culture, right? Um, and you guys, uh, some of you may know this. I knew it. <laughs> some of you may know this, but since it came up, now I'm gonna ask y'all: What year was Alpha Kappa Alpha founded? And all of y'all got an aunt or a cousin or a bestie or somebody who's an AKA. What year was Alpha Kappa Alpha? found it y'all should know this it's the first black it is the first black sorority okay hmm. alicia better come through knowing you better come through knowing alicia and no alicia is not a sorority so that's why i asked that question because you you should know this what I, and i think it's on my bracelet maybe maybe did i cheat no it's not on my bracelet Yes, Max. Yes, D. Okay. So, Alicia and Max are our winners. Alpha Kappa Alpha was founded in 1908. And fun fact, I do have it tattooed on my ankle. 
I will show y'all, but I cannot get my ankle in this shot. It's not gonna work. I would look absolutely insane trying to show y'all my ankle. So, Alicia said her mom just recently pledged. Oh my gosh. Please tell my sober I say welcome. And we love her. All right, y'all. I love y'all. If you have questions about the society, feel free to hit any of us up. A lot of the ambassadors are on on Facebook and on Instagram. They are watching. A lot of members are on and watching. Listen, thank you for logging on with me. Don't do it. You might spill your wine. Facts. See, I can't. That's. What I told y'all. I was like, I could pull my ankle up, but... Y'all don't need to see it that bad. I'll show y'all some other time. I'll post it in my stories. <laughs> so you can see my tattoo. But yes, um, I'm excited. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the fold. Welcome to the family for all of you who are new here. The society is, um, it's officially launched. We're in 10, we're in 14 cities and we'll probably be in 20 by the end of the month. So listen, come on board. We would love to have you. Y'all, my little nose is running. Hold on. Hold on. Mm, you know. We keep napkins right here, right? So, can't be looking crazy on camera. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm getting ready to go live in the sisterhood group. So, if you are new here, um, please, by all means... Hop on over to Facebook and the Sisterhood group. We go live and have girl talk and all that kinds of stuff. Um, and if you're interested in joining the society, blackgirlswine.com. Check it out. We would love, love, love to have you. And listen, member, we're adding new members daily. This is so, so much fun. I'm excited to see this sisterhood grow. And I will be shouting out all the ambassadors. And actually, if you're wondering who the ambassador is for your city, check my stories on Facebook and Instagram check my stories thank you thank you all right yes miss Gigi, come on over we would love to have you shartisha hey girl so um yeah we would love to have you all so i hope y'all have a good night i'm gonna finish this glass of wine with the sisters over on facebook okay request to join the group so you can hang out with us and get all the tea don't forget, if you're interested in coming to celebrate the anniversary of BGW, we are having a Hollywood theme, okay? Hollywood theme. We have somebody in New Jersey. We have Hoboken. Um, we are doing a Hollywood theme party, anniversary tasting, okay? It's an anniversary tasting party right here in Richmond, Virginia on September 28th. So, sis, you got a good month to get your ticket or grab some girls and come on down and hang out with us. Listen, this party is going to be so much fun. And I just decided the other day that it was going to be Hollywood themed because I got my outfit already. So, <laughs> I am super excited. And VIP, listen, VIP for this party, I'm going to tell you all something. VIP tickets always go first. And the VIP bags are going to be lit for anniversary because it's anniversary and that's only right, okay? Society members will be participating in an exclusive tasting, okay, for the anniversary. I mean exclusive. I'm digging into the BGW sellers for society members only, okay? Um, so I just want to let y'all know what the options are, what's out there, what's available, so you know, you can make your decision wisely. Before we close membership. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye Facebook. I'ma see y'all over in the group. Black Girls Wine Sisterhood if you wanna hang out with us. <laughs>